it's my pleasure to introduce four new friends from middle schools of San Angelo. We have Jonathan Gonzalez from Lincoln, 8th grade. We have Jonah White, 6th grade from Glenn. And we have Emma Wirtz, 8th grade from Lee, and Queen Parker, 8th <clears throat> grade from Lee. And the reason I'm excited you're here, I've never done an interview of kids in our district that are in clubs in our school. And I think the reason, do one of you want to tell me why on earth do you think we've started trying to have more clubs at the middle school? Anybody have an idea? Maybe to give kids more experience um, to prepare them for maybe career choices. That's a great answer. Anybody else want to add to that? <laughs> How about making school and more fun. fun more fun to come to school? That was one of our reasons. Um, Keep us out of trouble. Yeah. Whoop, another good one. <laughs> and uh, I think to if I could piggyback on your answer too. Um, Sometimes if we are assigned, like you described for me, Queen, uh, assigned to a club and might not have chosen, it opens some doors for some interests that you might not have known that you were interested in. And I think that's what um, one of our big reasons for wanting you to come. Uh, these young people have, are involved in clubs on their campus, and I want to start over with you, Jonah. You clearly have uh, uh, in your lap there uh, something that you've put together, I think, and, and it's a, a robot. Talk to me about your robot club, robotics. Um, well, we start at the beginning of the year. We all get an uh, application, and we can fill it out if we want to. Uh, and if we start, we, they present us with a uh, challenge we have to do, and we go to a competition for that challenge. And this year's challenge was uh, based off of the Chernobyl accident, and we had to uh, get checker pieces or nuclear rods, uh, and the black ones were the uh, ones we had to take to the decontamination chamber, and the red ones we had to take to the cooling towers with the robots. We had to figure out a way to either store them inside of the robot or move them around using the robot, and we could... Uh, do pretty much anything. We had three sensors, which I have on this robot, but we could put on there, and there's only three ports, so you can only have three things on here at a time. And I've, wa I've been to watch one of our robotics clubs, and those young people tried to show me you maneuver this creature with your computer, your laptop. Yes, ma'am. Well, we uh, build a program using the laptop, and then we hook the robot up to the computer and we uh, computer um, and we uh, download it to it and uh, once we do it we can't change it while we're performing it so we have to uh, have it all built out before we go to the challenge and you how many are on your team we had four and that's pretty standard isn't yes, it and you how many are in your robotics club um, I think there was three teams of, well, there's two teams of four and one team of five, so 13. And the competition is here in San Angelo uh, with other schools surrounding that come to compete out at our service center, isn't that? Yes, ma'am. We had at the Regency Center. There was different schools from, like, Braun and Wall. They all had uh, robots that they presented. And, you know, uh, our high schools, uh, I know at least one of our high schools has a robotics club. Has it been something you think, well, and since you still have a couple of years left of middle school, that would that be your choice of a club for next year? Most likely, yes. Did y'all get together outside the school day to work on your, uh, how to improve your uh, critter there? Um, every Monday, Monday and Wednesdays from 4 to 4.45, we stayed after school and worked on these. Did you name it? No. <laughs> Do some teams name them? Yes. <laughs> okay. It's it. Yes. Well, we have to have a name for the challenge, but this one doesn't have one right now. And you, it, there are pieces that come in a kit, and you all can build it 
to perform to the best and they're they all look different don't yes. they yes wow are there more boys or more girls are a balance in the robotics club i would say there's definitely more boys but there is uh, a few girls yes excellent who's your sponsor uh mr ratcliffe okay from Glenn. so i'm hearing you say you you're going to repeat next year yes, the I'm robotics sure. club do you, has it been worthwhile for you having that a part of your schooling yes it's definitely made school more exciting Woo that's that gold checked off way to go okay um queen you are in a very unusual club you are in rebels with a cause at lee yes, tell me what you i'm so impressed with the fact that you all are constantly doing things for our community. Tell us a little bit about that. Basically, it's like trying to keep our school safe because like, the teachers and the principals can't do it alone. So they chose a group of kids to help out. And if the group of kids don't want to do it, they don't have to. But once I was assigned to be in Rebels with the Cause, I stayed with it because I understand what the teachers are going through. I understand that they can't do it all by themselves. And you all several times a year go out on special days or have fundraisers for a community service. Have y'all kept up? Or give us an example of some uh, something you've done this year. Humane Society. And we went to one of the schools and we read to the little children. We helped out with the kids. So you've re gone to a school and read to children and helped out with the children and you've worked for a fundraiser or just awareness about our Humane Society. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea, how many are in your club, Rebels with a Cause? Uh, just yeah, ish. About 90. Wow, 90 kids. That I had no idea. That's what we started off with. I don't know how many I've dropped out. Okay. And am I right that you were also in this last year? Mm -hmm. Okay. Outstanding. And your what on earth could, did y'all do for the Humane Society? That's a really neat choice. I really didn't go because like I was with my dad the whole time. Okay. And like all, everybody kept telling me that it was fun, Queen. You should have went. Do you know what they did? Did they were were they doing a fundraiser or just helping maybe take care? Uh, they were just helping. To helping out over at the. There's always work to be done for many of our nonprofit organizations. Well, that's a very neat thing. Okay, um, we have a neat creative club here, and let me go back just a second. Both Jonah and uh, Queen and um, uh, Jonathan have gone to school in San Angelo, your most if not all of your schooling. And now we have a young lady who somewhat like myself has done some traveling because of having a parent in the military. And so you've you moved here what grade did you say to me? Fifth, Fifth grade. grade. And you're in eighth grade yes. now. And you chose the art club. Oh my goodness. Do you take art now? Yes, I take art class. That is one of the everyday classes. But then you also chose the club. Yes. Why would you do that? Well, art club, every Friday, we have um, a variety of choices of just fun things we can do. Art club was a group of kids who are in art that the art teacher, Miss Hughes, chose because they can do art. They're moderately good at it. And so what are you do what do you when you've created at your club what happens to your art What do you do you mean what do we do Yes with is it put it's put up I've yes. seen it in the halls so, of your school Yes yeah, so, uh, most of it is displayed at the school but some of it is going to go to other organizations Like there's um Miss Sterbling the yes. principal at Lee One of her family members has an art organization that some of the art projects of some of the kids at Lee are going to be displayed at. Well, let's hold them up. You've brought several things yes, here. Can you tell me a little bit about this one that you yes, did? That, Talk to me a little bit about it. That was a rather open-ended project. That was a project where we had to do something 
combining one or more hands. And the hands could be any kinds of hands. Animal hands, human hands. And you could leave them as they are, morph them, sort of distort them, or leave them open and just, you know, display them, which is what I did. And you not only, ju you didn't just draw hands, you've got some of this striping uh, coming out that's through a, the that's, top. That's the value scale, which when you go from light, from dark to light, it implies an, an, uh, an impression of um, 3D almost. It does. It looks like they can stand out on the paper, especially at a distance. Okay. Oh, this is cool. That was another project of ours. That was just plain art class where you morphed at least three animals together, gave them a background and a name. And this is the elephant horsefly. How it's, cool! It's, it's a seahorse's body, obviously fly the wings, those are dragonfly wings, an elephant trunk, coral snake coloration, and horse's ears. How cool! <laughs> and your last one? Oh, neat. That was the most recent project. We just had to design a clown. And this is a happy one. Yes. And he's rather heavy on the head. Yeah, I can't draw And not bodies. too much on the body. But nice feet as well. <laughs> well, every, and when everyone thinks of clowns, I think red nose, big shoes. Well, that, red, red nose, that's big shoes. very true. That certainly is what <laughs> I, look, I have, would call attention to as well. You clearly like color. Yes. Bright colors. Mm -hmm. I like bright colors as well. That was actually, you needed to actually color this one. Okay. That was um, a requirement for this project. But some of them, I have other projects that are just drawn with the value scale, like I showed you on the earlier yes. picture, with, with just a graphite pencil. Well, I want to uh, I want to hold on to these very briefly, and we'll talk, because there are some places I would like to also post some of your art club and some of your work. Um, let's talk to Jonathan now, who, thank you for coming after just getting out of the hospital. This is really a neat thing for you to come today. And now, you're in a club that not every young person might choose, oh. a math <laughs> club. Uh. I see some fun uh, in these other clubs. But now, are you really telling me a math club is fun? Yes, I am. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why do you enjoy it? I think that's so neat. Mr. Eckert's a good teacher. He makes all everything fun. Everything Even he, math. Yep. <laughs> what, what, how does he make it fun? He applies it to everyday life to where anybody can understand it. Even someone who, that, that math has been hard for? Yes. He could just apply it to anything you do every day and they'll understand it pretty quick. That's, That's how I, I did it. <laughs> All right, you have, uh, tell us what's in your hand. This is the calculator we use for competitions. Um, we have, at the competition we have four tests. We have a science, a mathematics, a general mathematics. Then we have the calculator and the number sense. This is the calculator we use for the calculator test. For UIL? For UIL math science. So y'all's club part or all of you are also wanting to get good to compete in one of the math UIL. Does everyone in your math club compete? He takes, there's probably about 20 kids in the UIL club right now and he can take about 11 to 12 for okay. a competition. So you have to uh, keep competing to rise to the top to go really be on the team. Yes, you have to compete to get your spot on the team. And which team was your favorite? Uh, personally, I like the number sense or the mathematics. And you have to get, you have to learn um, quick, I'm going to call them tricks. Uh, he, you too, um, Mr. Eckert, and you may uh, shudder when I use the word that way. But isn't it like shortcuts so that you know how to get your answer the very fastest? Because they're timed, aren't they? Yes, ma'am. Yes. You, 10 minutes to do 80 problems in the number sense. Oh, <laughs> my goodness, and you think that's fun. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you, have you all already competed? We have competed at about six competitions. Okay. We have state coming up in the 13th. 
Next Friday. So where did you go for your competitions? We've gone to Wiley, we've gone to Crane, we've gone, we've had a competition here at Lincoln, we've been to Cahoma, we've been to Abilene, and Midland, I think. And are y'all pretty good? We get first, second, or third mostly every meet. I'd say that's as good as you can get. Mm -hmm. So you're going, you're now getting ready for your real big competition. Yes. And that and that's coming up in a week or so. Next Friday. 13th. Okay. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's okay. I don't believe in. We that. don't. We don't <laughs> test till the 14th though. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And where is that competition? San Antonio, Texas. Okay. Would you let me know how you do? Yes. Mr. Eckert knows how to get a hold of me. That is so neat. Do you think? The majority, we've got all three middle schools here. Is it fair to say the majority of the students, so that's more than half, enjoy the clubs at our middle schools? Yes. 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 <clears throat> and is it a privilege to be in a club? Can a kid, if they truly don't want to and if they misbehave, are they n not in a club? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. yeah. They get, I know. Okay. I've so it is somewhat of a privilege, <laughs> but any child can be, any young person, sorry, can be in it, be in a club. Oh, yes. yes. Okay. Name some other clubs besides what we've talked about here today. Band. Choir, jazz sure. bands, uh, several of your schools have uh, jazz bands that are outstanding. A small choir, a choir specialty choirs? Rage. Concert choir. Yeah, we have Rebel Rage. It's the ensemble group, which is a, a special singing group, which you have to audition for. Okay. I was in that I'm in also seventh in grade. Rebel Rage. You are? Woohoo! I was in Rebel Rage last year. So, what other clubs? I've, oh. he I've heard of one that d uses. Um, Tape to make things. Oh, oh duct tape. Duct tape, tape club. That's a cool thing. I've seen some of the things that have been made. Does that not interest you, Jonathan? No, I've never heard of that. <laughs> <laughs> what other clubs? Uh, Johnny, you were fixing to name um, one. There's the hip hop dance club. We have the uh, jazz band. We have, uh, instead of Rebel Rage, we have uh, the show choir, the Glen Show Choir, and we have. Um, all sorts of different things. You know what nearly all of your clubs have that you didn't mention is chess, chess clubs. Um, that's a fairly difficult uh, game to get real good at. And I think that's a really neat thing that a person could learn to do the rest of their, and enjoy the rest of their lives. The, each school is going about this a little bit differently, mm -hmm. but it's neat. Uh, and I'm, I wanted so much for our audience to see that this is offered because I'm not sure that middle school young people go home and tell their family and friends and grandparents uh, about things in their life. That's sort of something during middle school years that you might not talk a whole lot about. I may be wrong. but. Um, I wanted our audience to know what a neat thing. It isn't just reading, writing, uh, science, and social studies that there are some moments of really of, of choice that can be pleasure and that can add, enrich our lives. So um, I want to thank you all immensely for coming and helping us today. Y'all are neat. <laughs> Way to go.